You know it's been a tough few years for our country. We're at the tail end of a pandemic. We continue to deal with supply shortages and the price of just about everything is going up, including homes. This week, mortgage rate buyer Freddie Mac reported that the average 30-year mortgage rate is now above 6%. That's the first time rates have been that high since the housing crisis in 2008. A year ago, that number was just below 3%. As for the average 15-year fixed rate, that's not far behind at just over 5%. Joining us now is the president of Buffalo Niagara Association of Realtors, Joel Husfar. The Federal Reserve is raising interest rates to cool inflation, affecting mortgage rates. So, Joel, what are you seeing out there? How is this impacting the local housing market? So uh, interest rates definitely do make a difference when people are trying to buy a house because their their buying power doesn't go as far as it did back when we were at the 2 3% interest rates for historic lows. But... We're not seeing that people are are bending down and not really getting ready to buy. How is this increase impacting current homeowners and how could it impact people looking to buy a home? So current homeowners, they, um, they're they still doing what they're doing. I mean, if you have to move, if your life changes, people are still moving. I mean, people do have to still upgrade and then others still do have to, to downgrade their homes. And um, we're noticing there is a change, but it's not a drastic change. So people are kind of doing, I guess it sounds like, what they would do anyway. So what advice would you give to those looking to buy right now? Are there any tips and tricks you know, to land their dream home? Well, I mean, people that are looking to buy right now, the good news is with the market slowing down just a little bit, they don't have as many multiple offers on every single house like we did in the past. So people are able to able to get home inspections now. They're able to negotiate the price and get more of the house they're looking for instead of the house that they just can get their hands on. It definitely is something that I think is overwhelming. It can be intimidating for people under normal circumstances. So if you're really starting from you know zero, what's the best thing to do to sort of plot this out so that you can you know, find the best deal, find the best thing for you, and like you said, not just have to settle for something and say, well, that's the best I can do? Yeah, I mean, what I like to tell people is when you're buying a house, you have an entire team of people behind you. You have your realtor, you have your banker, you have your attorney, your home inspector, and all of these people are highly trained professionals, and you want to make sure that you're hiring the right people. A really good lender might be able to help improve your credit a little bit to get you a little bit of a better rate. A really good agent could be able to prepare you for what things could come up so that you don't have as many surprises. And then ultimately your attorney is the one that's going to help close the deal and get you the keys. How do you see the housing market doing for the, for the rest of the year? Is it worth people to wait a little bit? Does it not matter? Like, what is the deal there? So. Um, I always recommend to people like, you know, wherever your life is, if you're ready to buy, let's let's buy. Um, there are some deals that are to be out there right now. Some houses are finally starting to hit the, or stay on the market for a couple days, a uh, few weeks even. And if you're ready to go, I mean, hire a professional, be ready to do it. What about quickly a common mistake or something that you maybe see time and time again that you that people should know about as far as as going down this road? Um, common mistake. I don't really see too many common mistakes because what we do is we educate people so well and they know what they're getting into. But if I were to say it might be um, not thinking a few years down the road, maybe just buying something that fits today's needs and not thinking about, you know, how could your needs change in a few years. We appreciate the advice. We've been speaking with the president of the Buffalo Niagara Association of Realtors, Joel Husfar. Joel, thanks again for being here. Thanks for having me.